What's going on, y'all? It is Sniper Pigeon, and today what we are doing and where we are at is I am in Inca Camina, and uh, I figured I'd look into doing some of these network antennas. I got some questions on previous videos on on just some of the uh, little side missions or quests or whatever you want to call them for uh, uh, side missions, yeah, for like diversion, the uh, the helicopter stealing, convoys, you know, guns for hire. So I figured I'd do a quick video on just showing how I do them and. I don't really know if you get a whole whole lot of tips out of them, but we'll see. So normally the first thing for the network antennas, there's almost always at least one to three guys guarding it. And uh, in the more difficult provinces, which let me see what the difficulty is here. Actually, difficulty is apparently non-existent here in Inca Camina. But uh, there's, all right, we're all I, I want to say in my experience, the, the higher difficulty ones have uh, Unidad people there. So, normally how I do these is once you hit the deactivate button on this, if you haven't already done them, a timer goes and it's anywhere between like, you know, a minute to like two and a half minutes, something like that. Um, and normally there's always a vehicle right next to it, which makes everything, you know, easy, you'd think. So, uh, very easy right off the bat. Uh, if you can spawn a helicopter, this whole freaking process would be ten times easier. Look at that, right there. So I'm just going to show you how I do it on the helicopter. Pull deactivate, you'll see the timer on the top left. The minute 15 antenna. seconds. Oh, i got to race from this antenna to the next one. And somehow I just got suspected. Okay, all right, well, I don't know where he came from, but it's all good. See, this one's fairly close as is. It's only 600 meters. And the second antenna, again may, depending on the difficulty, have other people guarding it as well. And I think this one, yeah, this one has barbed wire around it. So, I'm just gonna land. Yeah, and of course there's people. I always like using guns for hire whenever I'm doing side missions just to make it the hair easier on me. But that's it, see? Badge unlocked. New better rebel. I don't even know what that is offhand, but I'll be able to tell you in a second. Oh, okay. And I was reading. That's what I get for reading the stuff on the top as I'm talking. As I'm running around. But yeah, so that's that's pretty much how I do the network antennas normally if I have a helicopter. And I'll demonstrate one without a helicopter here shortly and you'll be able to see the, uh, the clear differences on why it's much easier to have the chopper than not. And that looks like everybody actually. I think we just cleared this area out. For the most part, I still see bullets whizzing by me. We're clear. Spotting nothing. Okay. Alrighty, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, and we're back. It is Sniper Pigeon again, I'm still in Inca Kamina, and I am over at another Rebel side mission for deactivating the antennas or doing diversion. I'm at latitude 20.4, longitude 64.78. And I'm right behind this little beauty of a base right here. It should be us. fairly easy. and It should be pretty easy to, uh, to clear out, so I'm just going to lay prone. Obviously, step one and all this stuff. Should be fairly common sense at this point is going to be uh, clearing the first area before I go worry about that even though it's on the outside of the base because I'm not really trying to get shot down beforehand. That would just be miserable. All right, let's see if anybody's hiding. Nobody. Uh, and we're going to check this building right here real quick before we end. Now oh, there's comms in there if I do feel froggy and want to hop in, which I probably will. I think that's it. And there's all right, there's gasoline. There's a couple things of resources, nothing too extravagant. And I think there is a Kingslayer or something here, too. Uh, I want to say it's down here where this guy is or something. And uh, if you, you know, of course, I already got it. So I just, I'm pretty sure there's one here. All right, so let's give this a go. I'm going to mark the heavy for immediate termination. Mark him. And I'm also going to mark him as well. So I'm going to kill him as soon as this is ready. Oh, I'm sorry. The heavies first. Our right, first target's going to be this gentleman right here once they're all Ready. marked. All the Perfect. Engaging tango. That guy just switched on. Oh. Must have heard the gunshot. Shot heard. Good. Hard to shot. I thought I killed everybody. We're good. That's the worst part when you definitely miss somebody. Oh, that was glitchy. Right, let's go down here, collect his resources real quick because that is half the name of the game here. And. See gases right here. Get the comms, and then I'll go. I'm going to take a vehicle this time, and I'm going to uh, make a run for the next antenna, just to show you how much more difficult it is. I 
my weapon loaded out again is the G2 with the suppressor. So I've upgraded with the tier system just a little bit. Uh, let's see, take... Normally I try to go for a Jeep or a motorcycle, preferably motorcycle just because it, in my opinion, drives the best. Um, let's go. Ooh, move, move. Okay. Okay. So, Jeep or motorcycle. Just because they're best at off-roading, and I don't normally try to follow the road. I will this time. Alright, minute and 40 seconds this time. Alright, cool. At least I parked there the direction I'm supposed to go. 1.2 kilometers in a minute 40 sec or minute 30 seconds, I'm sorry. Do I get a flat tire? I don't think I do. It almost looks like it though. Motorcycle. Yeah, okay. I already don't like this thing. But yeah, excuse me. Thank you. Let's roll. Do me. Okay, so yeah, prefer the motorcycles, like I said. And the Jeeps ain't bad either. The vans and all that other nonsense I don't even worry about. Let's make this turn. And again, I'm going to off-road up here if I can. Uh, crap, i got to go up. That makes it a little bit harder, too. See, and of course, elevate. It's a lot easier in a helicopter. I wish you could uh, do a Grand Theft Auto thing in this and, you know, shoot while you drive a motorcycle or something. Like, just shoot directly in front of you. Like, you don't even have to be able to aim properly. But I feel like that would add a, a completely different element to the game, be able to do drive-by rebel raids and stuff. That'd be pretty fun. You can obviously do it in, in cars and things, but I just feel like if you could do it on a motorcycle, it'd be that much better. Even if they made, you know, some realism to it that was like, hey, if you do this, then you're going to be way more inaccurate. So obviously, uh, due to me just kind of lollygagging and not taking this 100% seriously, I missed the timer. And as you can see, this one is fairly well protected as well. So yeah, it's it's possible to do it. Obviously, I stopped to get the motorcycle and was kind of lollygagging a little bit. But I followed the recommended path, as you can see on the mini-map, which is where it gets a little confusing. It's like, alright, if I followed the recommended path, how did I still fail? And I didn't waste an incredible amount of time. Sniper, get the fuck down. So, I don't know. I asked the rebels to recon this area. Okay, and there's only one guy left. Alright guys, well this is Sniper Pigeon. And as you can see, the complications of what vehicle to take is half the battle. And I will see you guys in the next video. As soon as I... Yep, he's dead. Alright, yeah, see you guys in the next one.